God is our healer. Good morning once again. I'm before you with our morning devotion. And it is my prayer that we continue to talk to the Lord and believe in Him. Today is the second day of the new month. That's Tuesday. And I want us to look at something in Luke chapter 22, verse 31 to 32. My theme will be Jesus interceded for Peter. Luke chapter 22, verse 31 to 32. I read, Simon, Simon, how Satan has persuaded you that he might make you part of his harvest. But I have prayed for you. I have prayed that your faith will hold firm and that you will recover from your failures and become a source of strength for your brothers. Amen. That is Luke chapter 22, verse 31 to 32. And I have entitled it, Jesus Interceded for Peter. This morning, I want you to take off the name of Peter and put your name there. You see, the Bible said, Jesus Christ interceded for Peter. Why did he intercede for Peter? And he said, the devil has persuaded him. You see, most of us, the accuser of the brethren is after us. And for that matter, we need people to intercede for us. The Bible said we should not hold our peace until Jerusalem has become a praise. Because the Lord has selected intercessors to be there for Jerusalem. So Jesus Christ is the leader of Peter. And Peter is the disciple. A disciple is someone who is being trained to take over from the leader. But the Bible said the devil seek permission to attack him. In the same way Jesus Christ interceded for him. Let us ask ourselves as leaders and as men and women of God. How many of our followers and our disciples are we interceding for them? We are not interceding for them. But the Bible makes us understand that Jesus Christ interceded for Peter. For what reason that Jesus Christ interceded for him? There's a big problem coming upon Peter. But this morning, if you put your name there, that whatever challenge, whatever situation that you are going through, as Jesus Christ interceded for Peter, he has also already interceded for you. And if you believe that word and move by that word, the Lord will be a blessing unto you. This morning, I am charging you that be an intercessor for your children, for your family, for the church, for the people of God, for your workers. Wherever where you find yourself, anytime you see somebody going through a certain situation, just intercede for them. And you see, these days, or we may say that our church has become a church of complaint, backbiting, and concern, and all sorts of things. Maybe he saw somebody somewhere. The best thing he would do is to take a phone call and then call, I saw this guy at this place, or this lady at this place. Why is it that we don't take the opportunity to intercede for the person rather, as Jesus Christ interceded for Peter? And I believe that if all of us will become intercessors, and standing for our brothers and sisters, the Lord's work will be seen in them. This morning, we bless the name of the Lord for how far he has brought us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. 